This episode is brought to you ad-free by HistoryTunes.net. Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. Today we will continue our series on the Manual of Arms from Gillum's Tactics. In past episodes, we have taught you the basic Manual of Arms, Two. we have learned to use the bayonet, and we have learned how to load the musket. Today we will continue by learning how to inspect arms Two. and then stack them. Let's get started. Let's learn how to inspect arms. In addition to checking the military bearing of a clean firearm, this is the best opportunity in the ranks for leaders to assure the weapon is safe. We will start with the bayonet in the scabbard. Inspection of arms. This is done in three motions. First, face to the right once and a half on the left heel, carrying the right foot perpendicularly to the rear of the alignment about six inches from and at right angles to the left foot. As you turn, grab the musket with your left hand slightly above the middle band. Lean the muzzle to the rear, but don't move the heel of the butt. As you do this, turn the ramrod toward your body. Move your right hand to the bayonet. Grab it by the socket and shank. Two. Now, Draw the bayonet from the scabbard and fix it on the muzzle. Draw the ramrod just like we taught in loading. Let it glide to the bottom of the bore. Three. Face back to the front and retake the position of order arms. The inspector inspects the piece of each man. As the inspector reaches you, raise the piece with your right hand. Seize it with the left between the lower band and the leading edge of the lock with the lock facing front. Hold it like this with the left hand as high as the chin and the piece opposite your left eye. The inspector will take it with the right hand and, after inspecting it, return it to you. Take it back with your right hand and replace it in the position of order arms. After the inspector passes you, turn as you did at the beginning of inspection of arms and return your ramrod as you've been taught. Finish by facing front to the position of order arms. Let's review inspection of arms. As with loading, we will omit counting the motions for this review. Inspection of arms. Now we will learn to stack arms. Let's watch the process first, and then we'll go through it step by step. Stack arms. Take arms. Stack arms. The front rank number two man will do the bulk of the work during stack arms. He first puts his weapon in the correct place. To do this, the front rank number two man passes his musket to his left hand. Turn it so the barrel is to the front as you do this and grasp the weapon just above the middle band. Place the butt on the ground near the right foot of the man next on your left. The weapon should be near his foot. Next, the front rank number one man passes his musket to the front rank number two man. With his left hand, he gives it to the front rank number two man who grasps it two inches above the middle band. After the front rank number two man receives the second musket at the middle band, he throws the butt forward and places it on the ground 32 inches in front of his right shoulder. Make sure the barrel faces to the rear. With the muskets of the front rank in this position, the front rank number two man next leans the forward musket back toward the front rank. At the same time, he will lean his own musket over and lock the shanks of the bayonets. Do this by crossing the bayonets at the point where the blades and shanks meet. Now, let's add the third musket to the stack. It belongs to the rear rank number two man. This man lowers his bayonet so the musket points forward. He uses both hands to stick the point of the bayonet under the crossed shanks. Continue to push the musket forward until its shank touches the other two. 
While this rear rank number two man is pushing his musket into the stack, it is important that the front rank number two man keeps the bayonets of the first two weapons still and the flats touching. This will keep the largest opening to stick the third bayonet through. As the musket is pushed forward, the front rank number two man will release the musket in his right hand. Reach back and grasp the newly added musket with your right hand at the middle band. The rear rank number two man releases his musket and retakes the position of a soldier. Next, the front rank number two man moves this third musket to the right in front. Place its butt between the feet of the front rank number one man. In order to do this, the stack will need to lean a little to allow the musket to pass. When the stack lands in place, the musket of the rear rank number two man will be between the feet of the front rank number one man with the S plate to the rear. Remember, the S plate is opposite the lock of the weapon. Finally, the rear rank number one man passes his musket to his left hand with the barrel turned forward. He then leans his musket on the stack. Do this by sloping the bayonet forward. Return to the position of a soldier and the maneuver is complete. Now that the stack is formed, the men can be given rest, dismissed, or marched off to other duties not requiring their weapons. In our case, we'll move on to taking arms. Take arms. In take arms, we'll reverse the process. First, the rear rank number one man uses his left hand to remove his musket from the stack. Please note that he is the only person to touch his musket. No one helps him either put it on or take it off. To detach the remaining three weapons in the stack, the front and rear rank number two men work together. The front rank number two man reaches down and grasps his musket in his left hand and the front rank number one man's musket in his right. As that happens, the rear rank number two man will reach forward and grasp his musket. Notice that both men grip their weapons at the middle band. Together, these two men lift the stack and disengage the bayonet shanks. Do this by undoing the motion of creating the stack. The rear rank number two man swings his musket butt back towards himself so the musket is in between the two files. Then he slides the bayonet out. After this happens, the front rank number two man hands the number one man's musket to him. The maneuver is complete when all four men again stand at the position of a soldier at order arms. There is a lot to stacking arms because four men must work together. Let's review the process. Stack arms. Front rank number two man, you've got a lot to do. Start by passing your weapon to your left hand. Grab it just above the middle band with the barrel to the front. Place the butt of your weapon near the foot of the man next on your left and a little behind his toe. Front rank number one man, hand your weapon to the front rank number two man. When he takes it in his right hand just above the middle band, your work is done. Front rank number two man, place this weapon's butt on the ground 32 inches in front of you and opposite your right shoulder. Incline this weapon straight back towards your shoulder and connect the shanks of these two weapons. Do that by placing the flats of the two bayonets so they touch at the shank. Hold this position. Rear rank number two man, it's your turn. Using both hands, stick your bayonet under the shanks of the other two muskets to introduce it to the stack. Slide your weapon forward until your bayonet shank touches the others. Front rank number two, as this musket slides forward, let go of the musket in your right hand and take control of your file partner's musket. Of course, grab this musket at the middle band too. Swing the musket forward and to the right. Set its butt in between the toes of the front rank number one man. Rear rank number one man, pass your weapon to your left hand and lean it on the stack. Do this with the barrel turned to the front. Take arms. To take arms, we simply reverse what we just did. Rear rank number one man, step forward and take back your musket. Retake the position of ordered arms. Front rank number two man, grasp your musket and the musket of your partner at the middle band. To do this, you'll have to reach between the stack for the forward musket. At the same time, rear rank number two man, reach forward and grasp your musket at the middle band. Together, stand up and disengage the stack. When the rear rank musket is removed, front rank number two man, hand the number one man his musket. All four men finish at the position of ordered arms. Now, if you've just gone through this and this looks very familiar to you, it should. If you've watched our previous episode on Casey's stack arms, 
drill was not written to be intellectually separate. It was written to get soldiers into the field. And this is a word-for-word copy that was used in Casey's tactics as well. Thank you for watching Civil War Digital Digest. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>